All right. So, I was unaware that we were at the point where the PS2 could work like a Dreamcast in the sense that you could take a burned game um, and pop it into a unmodified PlayStation 2, no mod chip, no special memory card. I've even removed the memory card. It had Fortuna Project on it, but that's not really how that works. But just to make sure that people understand, because not everybody knows how that works, I removed it, and no USB, no nothing, and no mod chip. But now we are capable of just opening this up. Oh, I already had a game in there, but we'll throw this one in there. So we have Virtual Fighter 2 from the Sega Ages collection, I believe, uh, overseas. This is not only a um, burn copy of a game, but it's also an import. And it's a CD, which I had converted into a DVD using a, a certain software. But uh, if you're just playing a DVD, it takes, under, it takes less than a second. It's like milliseconds. You just patch the game and it loads. Uh, from straight from a burn disc on an unmodified um, <laughs> disc. So here we are. Now you'll see a black screen for a little while. You will see a black screen. And it boots up. And this is not only a... Oh, it's in the wrong aspect ratio. I can fix that. If I can get past my... Um, <laughs> thingy there. I'm using the Hyperkin HDMI cable for the PlayStation 2. But there it is. It has a switch on it for aspect ratio. Some... A lot of PS1 games that I've been playing have widescreen support, but not this one. I don't even know what this says. <laughs> I'm going to guess. And here we go. We are playing a PlayStation 2 import from a burned disc on an unmodified PS2. And this is a CD-based game that's playing. There are tutorials online um, on how to do this. It's actually fairly easy. I will link to tutorials, but I thought this was really cool because I honestly never thought that we would be able to do this. I, I was 100% like, never going to happen. You'll never be able to pop in a... Uh, a disc into an unmodified system or a uh, blank disc um, into an unmodified system and play a game. But we can. And it works great. And because it's from a disc, it's not going to have the same issues as it would from uh, as it would from um, USB. So, you have an, other games here. I'm going to throw in... Uh, let's put in Burnout 3. So previously, when I first got my PlayStation 2, this is a newer model PlayStation 2 that requires Fortuna Project. Um... But previously, I was using a Swap Magic disc, which I just so happen to have right here. And this is what I got when I first got my PS2. And uh, it sucked. <laughs> it didn't work right. It would, uh, it was, I think it was misshapen, and it was all warped and, and messed up, and it wouldn't always load, and it would be a big pain in the ass. And I gave up on that. But I don't need that anymore. 
Now this doesn't do everything. It's not going to change the resolution of the game like you can with other methods where you can output at like 1080p and all this other stuff. But if you just want to play your games, it will do that. Now it won't work with PS1 games. So no PS1. But PS2 does work. And this game does support widescreen. That's if you select widescreen in the settings. But, so I'm changing it back to widescreen. And here we are. Playing Burnout 3. Straight from a blank disc. Well, it's not blank anymore, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, you know what, I think last time I tried to, last time I tried to play Burnout Revenge, I ended up having issues where the game got blocked, so, uh, I'm not gonna put that up, but you get the idea, you just can't play PlayStation 1 games, that would be cool, but no, no PlayStation 1 backups, just PS2, but... Of course, you always have the option of doing something like Free McBoot or um, Fortuna and using Pops Loader or whatever it's called and loading that like that. So, just wanted to share for anyone who maybe didn't know, I didn't until like a few days ago. So, thank you for watching.